everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess or the TIE Fighter Chick. Today we have a very special box. I'm sure if you are familiar with this company, you will recognize said box, but it is circa 1955. And they are a Disney themed subscription service, it's candles. Nicole is absolutely wonderful. She puts so much time and effort into packing these boxes and coming up with the themes. It's just incredible. She's absolutely wonderful, love her to death. Um, I was actually surprised by this box. I had forgotten that I'd signed up for a subscription. So it's every, I think it's three boxes and then you have to renew, but they come in like every other month. And I was lamenting because I was seeing all the pictures and um, you know, pops ups for, hey, you know, here's an unboxing, go watch on my Instagram feed. And I was just lamenting over the fact that I wasn't getting this box. Lo and behold, what shows up at my door? <laughs> the box. So I'm very excited, very happy that I'm able to open this box. But let's get right in. The theme for this box is Mary Poppins. So you've got the kite scene from the very end of the movie. You've got the carousel that they ride on in the chalk painting. You've got Mr. Banks and Mrs. Banks. You've got Mary and Bert. And then you have Jane and Michael super cute. I have absolutely no idea what is in this box. I have not watched any spoilers. I refuse to do so. <laughs> um, so I, I honestly, I really have no idea, but let's go. All right. So inside beautiful kind of salmon colored tissue paper. And it says winds in the east mist coming in like something is brewing about to begin. Open that. Oh, how cute. Oh my goodness, y'all are gonna die when you see this. So we've got uh, the card inside with my name on it. It says practically perfect in every way. And we're on the brink of adventure. Don't spoil it with questions. So this is the spoiler sheet. I'm actually gonna go ahead and just kind of slice this open so I can get into it at the very end. If I can get it open. There we go. All right, so we're not gonna look at that yet. I want to wait and not spoil it for myself. But the uh, first things I'm seeing inside this box, y'all, this fabric, I can't even. One of my favorite scenes from Mary Poppins is the penguin scene. So there's the, the penguin, super cute. All dressed up in their little tuxedos and a little charm for the zipper. Let's see if I can get it to zoom in. It's actually a little umbrella. And inside, oh, good Lord, there's a whole bunch of goodies in here. I'm gonna pull out the little tin first. <laughs> this one is a small little mini candle. So it's real small, smaller than the ones you usually get. And it says a spoonful of sugar, rum punch. Let's see. Ooh, okay. I don't know if I'm gonna be a huge fan of this, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. I used to take the cherry cough syrup as a kid, and the first scent you get off of this candle is the cherry cough syrup. But the other notes are really interesting. You got a little bit of the rum, kind of have that like ever so slight alcohol smell, along with like spices. You know, if it weren't for the cherry, it'd be absolutely wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not a fan of cherry, but no fault of Nicole's. Got something in bubble wrap and interesting. Cool. Okay. So little bag, it's just kind of plain on the inside. I love these bags, by the way, they are so handy, especially when traveling. I put all sorts of things in them. So super easy. Love that. Oh, didn't even see. It's actually made for circa 1955. And I believe this was actually made, made by Nicole or someone very close to her. Then we've got a little booklet. It says practically perfect tidbits about Mary Poppins. And it has a bookmark inside. I'm gonna pull that out first. Oh, it's Mary's ruler. It says Mary Poppins practically perfect in every way. Below that, it says, rather inclined to giggle, doesn't put things away. That was Jane. <laughs> Extremely stubborn and suspicious, that would be Michael. 
I would probably also be in that category. And then Bert um, from the Chimney Sweeps uh, scene on the back. That's really pretty. I'm always in need of bookmarks. <laughs> I've got a whole bunch of books that I'm working on and just bookmarks go disappearing in my house. They, crawl, they grow legs and crawl away. But it's got like a little bit of information here. It says Mary Poppins is a film that has captivated generations with its story, music, and characters, both animated and living. In honor of this classic, I tasked our amazing friend and author Jamie Nelson to compile fun info about Mary Poppins. Jamie is a lifelong Disney fan and foodie. You can learn more about her by visiting her site, jamielovesfood.com, or by following her on Instagram. It's at Lilo underscore the lost princess. Now, without further ado, we give you 64 practically perfect tidbits about Mary Poppins. Cute. So it goes on to give you some information along with photographs of different bits of Mary Poppins. Um, I'm sure that some of this information was probably brought about by the movies, which if you have not see, seen Saving Mr. Banks, highly recommend it. It is absolutely wonderful. It's such an interesting story of how Mary Poppins came to be and the actors in that were just perfection. But as you can see, all sorts of little tidbits. I'm gonna definitely sit down and read that later. I actually go over through everything. Then there's this little package. If you see on the front, for deposit only, Fidelity Fiduciary Bank gives an account number. And then on the back, it says feed the birds. I'm gonna see what's inside this because it is a little bit heavy. Oh, how cool. So she actually sent in, uh, sent us a coin and it's a two pence. It's an actual two pence piece, which I collect coins. I don't know if anybody knew that, but I do collect coins and these are absolutely beautiful. I love these old coins. They are amazing. Um, however, I think I'm going to leave that one in, reseal it, and maybe eventually do a Mary Poppins background section because I love it. I love Mary Poppins. All right, last goodie is in bubble wrap. So I'm really curious what this might be. All right, I was gonna say it looks like glass. That would explain the bubble wrap. Oh, how pretty. So it's a little coaster. It says everything is possible, even the impossible. I'm gonna hold this up and try to Make it so you can see it. So it has a little umbrella. Absolutely beautiful. Um, oh, <laughs> I love that. And it will definitely be getting used down here, especially this summer, because it is a little warm. And I'm always in need of a uh, something cold to drink when I'm down here filming. So that will end up on my table. Okay, make sure that doesn't have anything in it. And on to the candles, which has a very cute wrapping piece. Again, a kite. Um, from that scene and let's see here there we go let's say I actually think I'm going to nope it's gonna stick I'll have to get that off later um, but I will be keeping that as well okay so the candles that are sent you've got two each one's in a really nice tin they're a good size doesn't take um, it's not a short amount of time that they burn they, they burn really well so we've got two. One is a sweet and one is more of a like park or land inspired scent, that kind of thing. Um, so we've got Tea Time with Mary. I'm going to guess that this is probably the savory, quote unquote, savory one. Let's see. Oh, that smells good. So you've got a little bit of like sugar and like tea, but almost like lavender, if that makes sense. It just it has a little bit of a biscuit scent to it. That's really good. I mean, it smells not quite like a sweet shop, but someplace that you would go in and you would want to sit around and drink, you know, tea and cookies. And then this one I'm going to assume is the sweet based off of the name. This one is County Fair Candy Apple. Oh my. <laughs> Oh, that smells good. So one of my favorite scents is apple. Um, the Harvest Apple stuff from like uh, Bath and Body Works 
or Yankee Candle, love them. And this one smells exactly like the Macintosh scent with caramel added in. And it's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. That smells amazing. I love her candles. They are amazing. I've got all three here. Um, absolutely worth it. I love getting boxes from Nicole. They are always amazing. They're always perfectly themed and perfectly done every single time. And it's fun. I love having candles um, that are Disney inspired. You know, it makes burning them a little bit more fun and gives me a little bit of that touch of Disney magic. Well, that is it for today. I hope you have an absolutely magical day. Until next time.